on the roof. But it might not be long before advanced solar technology is within reach. I'm really excited about the opportunities that uh, will arise in the next 10 to 15 years as photovoltaics uh, uh, become less expensive. I'm particularly excited about the thin film technology that is uh, becoming increasingly available. The thin film technology that Qualler is talking about could be the next big thing. California-based Nano Solar is one of the pioneers in this field. Instead of making solar cells on bulky, expensive silicon wafers, the company has developed a light conducting ink that's spread on a material that looks like foil. What we've developed are inexpensive techniques based on printing. Chris Eberspatcher is one of the lead researchers. On your left is a piece of bare metal foil. On your right is a piece of foil that has been coated with a thin semiconductor layer to convert sunlight directly into electricity. It's thin, flexible, and here's the key. It rolls off the presses in long strips. What we're headed toward are large non-vacuum printing technologies, and the right mental image is one of a large printing press, for example, like newspaper printing. The strips can then be cut to any length and stuck to roofs, sidewalks, you name it. Suddenly mass solar production with inexpensive